Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thor Motor Coach Steve DeVal along with Mark Andrus and something brand new. I am excited to bring you 360. Mark decided to be our guinea pig for this, so thank you for doing this. Looking we, forward to it. We just got uh, our 360 camera, because it was about two years ago at our open house. We started doing all of our little live walkthroughs, and we've kind of progressed from there. And one of the things that that we discovered is people kind of look like to look around at their own leisure, right? So, right. You, and they don't want to look at these faces all day because no, you, you don't need that. Trust me. So, the brand new 360 camera. So here's how this works. If if you haven't experienced this yet, so on your phone or your tablet, you can take and you can kind of look around like this, or you can you can look wherever you want to look. If we're talking about, uh, say, we're talking about the cockpit, but you want to look in the kitchen, you can flip around and you can most certainly do that. Now we want to take your questions as well because we love the interaction Absolutely. i mean it, it's huge we want we want you to we want to engage we want to uh, be involved now with this there's there's a little delay 45 seconds or so because the signal goes from our camera goes up to space and then it it comes straight back down and uh, into our facebook and that's how we're broadcasting to you right now on facebook and we have lou and heather and jason uh back in the headquarters answering you questions now it's very exciting uh, time of year um, for uh, show season. I'm kind of pulling up here to uh, see what we got going on. Um, but uh, with all the shows happening right now, we are, there we go. This is what I want to show you. Look at that. Yeah, so see oh, how cool. you can zoom around on there like that? It's pretty neat. Live right now. So you can go there. There we go. You can go down and see, take the phone. There we are. Cool. And look, and there's the, there's the, that, and there, and there. Are you playing along at home? Look at that. And, and, and if you notice, you can see the floor and the ceiling. If you're thinking, well, what's that on the floor? What I did is I kind of stuck something under the uh, door to hold it exactly where we wanted it. So you could kind of see the bunks. You could see into the bedroom a little bit and you can see into the bathroom. So as we get rolling here, Let's talk about uh, show season. It's very exciting. Uh, I know you're just at the Novi show. We were. What what are people coming in and talking about and wanting to see and what are they excited about as we get ready to embark on hopefully uh, warmer weather here before you know it and camping? Yeah, no, we're supposed to get up in the 40s today, Those and I great. think the shows have been good um, due to attendance. Mm -hmm. um, but the one thing that I do notice is not a lot of people know what they're looking for, and that's why we do this stuff. Right. Um, so you can come into our Facebook page and see any of our floor plans at that moment. So um, if we were getting ran over, if you weren't sitting down or standing up in the coach, uh, so it was good. Uh, so what kinds of questions are people coming at you with? Because you're out there, I mean, you're talking to the customers all the time. I, what are some of the more popular questions that you are getting? I think the biggest thing is people want to know if it's a gas or a mm -hmm. diesel and, and the differences in right. those or how many slide outs it has, um, how long it is. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're here today and go through some differences. Uh, the biggest thing I like to point out is chassis size mm -hmm. or buying a current year model chassis. Mm -hmm. and we make all that stuff available for you so you can go through and make a good decision on our product. Um, we're seeing a lot of good uh, push on high-end motors where we've seen a lot of your first-time buyers doing research, mm -hmm. which is why we're out in the field. So find you know your local show and find out who's going to be there and, and come see us. You know That's the big thing that we do is try to show you everything. But I would say um, engine size and how many slide outs is probably the the question, which we're making some stuff now mm -hmm. to try to go through that to help customers better, you know, to make a better decision. Now, we're going to get into the drive train, the chassis, the Triton V10, the towing, uh, the upfitting by Morai. We're going to do all of that. The way what we're going to work this today is after we do the 360 inside, we're going to tear down and then we are going to hit the road. You know, Mark's going to uh, take us over to the Motorhome Hall of Fame, and we're going to talk about driving. You'll see as we're on the road, then Mark's going to show us just how easy it is to set up. Because I think that's one of the things that, especially first timers, find intimidating. You know, oh my gosh, here's a you know a, a 31 foot, you know, the first time you drive it, it is a beast. How am I going to set this up? I don't I don't know how to do it. But it's actually real simple. And so we're going to walk through that. But let's kind of walk through the Ace 30.2. Uh, this is a bunkhouse model and it has a, a lot of features, a lot of amenities. And just like how we are broadcasting to you in 360 Live, being innovative here at Thor Motor Coach, Ace was just an innovative motorhome when it was designed. Correct. And you know, we've been doing this floor plan for quite some mm -hmm. time now. So it's, it's, it's been tried and true. And I like that we're bringing it out uh, and we're doing this video mm -hmm. this time of the year. 
because um, that's when most people are going to be looking at your bunk houses and doing that sort of things. I know there's a lot of companies out there with bunk models, hmm. and we've been doing this now uh, over five years, and it works. We're seeing other manufacturers copy it uh, and so on. But the main thing is it could do is it's going to accommodate everybody in motion mm -hmm. or sitting still. And that's what we'll go through today, the basic setup, because for me, I always like to listen to customers of what they want to do. Right. Um, what is your plans for down the road? And, and with this motorhome being so um, easy to operate, I mean, tow vehicles are not even something you need to take with rental car companies now being so cheap. But we're going to go through some of that stuff today. But the main thing with the 30.2, this is going to be a three-valve V10 engine. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is different than the Class C. Uh, the Class Cs are going to be on a 450 okay. chassis. This is going to be an F53 uh, spec coach. Uh, this would be an 18,000 pound chassis uh, in the F53 Ford spec with a three valve V10. Um, all our coaches, uh, 16 chassis or better, mm -hmm. are going to be running a six speed transmission. Uh, and that's across the board in all our products. But one thing I like to point out with the Class A is it does have a transmission brake. And when you go over a mountain or something mm -hmm. like that, it's going to automatically shift into uh, fourth gear automatically when you let your foot off the accelerator. I wish they had some mountains here in Indiana for us to do. No, that. it's pretty. It's but pretty flat. But I don't flat. think there's any no. mountains around here. Yeah, that's but but do. we will show you here in a little bit uh, on the road just how easy they are to drive. And one of the things uh, I loved about this particular floor plan, I took one out a couple summers ago with uh, my wife and my two daughters, was just how roomy it is inside. So kind of let's walk well, through. Well, that's you what I see. want to point out. I mean, yeah. you got your oversized booth. Um, you got two seating here, a jackknife here, and then sleeping up above. And the, the main thing to point out is the conversation mirror. Right. Um, you know, the, the main thing is, is you don't want to focus too much in the rear when you're driving. But if you see a passenger stand up, because Class A's are made to go across the road. Mm -hmm. You know, I get that question a lot. Do I, do, do I buy a fifth wheel? Do I buy right. a trailer? And, you know, if you're just going to run around town or something, those yeah. are great. But eight hours, and this is nothing. Uh, you've got your nice storage yeah. around the ace drop-down yeah. bunk. Right. Even with this down, yeah. you could ride with this down if you, you wanted know, you to. You get uh, tablets up here. I mean, great for, for purses. You know, if, if you're driving, you got the, the, the flip-up workstation here as well. Um, so there's a lot of uh, great, you got the plugs in there. A lot of great features uh, up here for when you're on the road or even when you're set up. The, uh, you get the privacy curtains which we have pulled, otherwise we, the sun would just be coming through and blowing this whole video out. And again, just remember this is, if you're just tuning in, it's, it, it's 360. Uh, Eric wants to know when we're going to be in Bakersfield. I, I don't know, but I would love to be out there in Bakersfield because I, I bet you don't have 15 inches of snow on the ground. That's melting and into melting. a mess. And the worst part uh, about this time of year, I find, just to, as this is completely off topic, as it melts, as a dog owner, you realize just how lazy you are in the winter and cleaning up your yard, and you want to get in your ace, and you want to get away from that. So as we walk through, let's talk about we got uh, two seating here. Um, we got the nice table, booth dinette, versatile. Uh, you can, it makes into a, a very cozy bed. Jackknife. We do the yep. drop-down floor, so yep. we have 84-inch high okay. ceilings where standard is going to be 76. But the one thing to point out, if you guys could look back. Yeah, just kind of move be, your phone. Would be the bunks. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that I like about our bunks is I can get in there. Now, I don't know how. I'm, I'm right at 6'1". It'd right. be a little tight, but I could still sleep right. in that bunk, and it's wide enough. And then also what I like about it is when the slides in, mm -hmm. you can still access the bunk. Yep. When the slides out, the people that are sleeping mm -hmm. in the bunks can go to the bathroom right. and not go through the bedroom or vice mm -hmm. versa where you're disturbing whoever's right. sleeping there. But the main feature that I like about this, you know, when I, would, I took that 31Z out, yeah. um, I, my son was asleep for four hours in the morning before we got there. And having that in and being able to access that and having it closed up and, and when you're in motion is the way to do this because let's, let's face it, that's why you buy a motorhome. Right. You will go further. You will go out to that state park that you thought was too far away. Um, plenty of storage in the rear. Um, you're going to have nice uh, closets in the rear, but the main thing is, is the storage up overhead and here. And then the walk-through bathroom with the uh, right. with the glass shower in as well. So let's talk about if uh, you guys want to take your your phones and kind of spin around over to the kitchen there. Let's talk about uh, what we have in the kitchen. Stainless steel sink's yep. going to have the uh, burner stove above with the microwave. Um, you're um, still got a lot of countertop space mm -hmm. there. Um, and then you know moving down, you're going to have a place for your trash can. Mm -hmm. um, you know that's something that you don't think about, but. Right. 
um, growing up over the years, we always had one tied off the uh, the handle. handle. Of the yeah. Door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, most all our products are going to have a place for a trash can, and then just we're going to utilize every storage position on this coach um, to make sure you get your nice tinted windows, so you don't have the sun coming through. Um, shades here. Um, TV is going to be in a great location. Still get mm -hmm. some sunlight through, but have visibility for everybody in this coach. Um, I think that's something to point out, and this is not something that we're hoping works. Um, like I said, we've got manufacturers that have copied this floor yeah. plan to the foot uh, because it works. It's a functioning floor plan. And as we're talking about the, the entertainment up in your cabinet, if you kind of take it in 360, you can kind of spin around over here to your curbside and the DVD player is right up here in, uh, in the cabinets and you got uh, TVs in the bunk, you got it outside, you have one in the, in the bedroom as well. And the one thing, you know, one of the questions that I guess I, I wouldn't say it's a question, it's more of a comment. People say, well, why do I need so many TVs? These things are great because, you know, the nice thing is if you don't want to watch TV, you don't have to turn it on. But if for tailgating, a machine like this, you can have a game on here. You know, the kids can be in the bunks. The bunks have their own uh, own screens. I mean, really from an entertainment, and inter I guess, inviting people over, not just your family. I mean, this coach is really perfect for that as well. It is. And, and the thing about a motorhome, if you go far enough, you won't need the TVs. You know, right. they're here. You know, we try to satisfy most of the mm -hmm. market. You know, take them down. Uh, we talked to a customer the other yeah. day, and, and you could take that down if you wanted right. to, but um, you have to, to accommodate because mm. there's going to be those days when you yep. do want to hang out and watch yeah. TV and everybody have a down day. Yep. Um, so we try to accommodate throughout the coach, even outside. We've been making that standard now for years, and, and all our products would be an outdoor TV and, uh, and introduce the outdoor yeah. kitchen uh, back in the daybreak several years ago. So we try to be innovative. Uh, we're trying not to follow the market. Um, you know, we, we, we kind of lead the market, I think, uh, because we, we've got our team out there. Uh, Gary was just out mm -hmm. uh, at Novi walking through product, looking at stuff that he could do better or not do. Right. Uh, and that stuff's big to bring a good product to the public mm -hmm. and bring changes to try to accommodate more people as the market changes. Yeah, and Gary's one of our uh, design engineers. Mm -hmm. So coming up with, you know, all the little bells and whistles and neat new features that you find, he's one of the uh, gentlemen responsible for, for that. Uh, let's kind of, you can, you can kind of see the bedroom back there and uh, the, the foot of the bed. Let's talk about uh, the size of the bed that you get in the Ace 30.2. You know, we went with the queen bed. We, mm -hmm. we try to keep a lot of storage in RVs. You know, you can look at, RVs that have big refrigerators right. and then no place for food mm -hmm. our pantry area or no place to store stuff in the bedroom but in this bedroom you've got a nice um, cabinet beside mm -hmm. it on each side and then you got nice wardrobe there so we try to think of what you know you can put whatever you want in an RV but yeah. is it functional mm -hmm. does it work you know is what we look at uh, we have fitted bed spree, uh, sheets mm -hmm. this might not be a big deal but one thing I love about my product out of 750 is the fitted bed sheet. Mm -hmm. um, it shows I don't have to go in and correct this bed sheet because it right. stays on there. And, and somebody that's been RVing a long time will feel my pain on that or, or sold RVs. But just stuff like that, um, you've got some uh, fuses up underneath mm -hmm. the bed, a nice rear window, uh, mm -hmm. and then the wardrobe, like I told you, is, is going to be su sufficient uh, to go through this. And you know, a lot of questions I get is washers and dryers. Right. You know, and, and I just think washers and dryers are a big waste of space mm -hmm. uh, because if most people that are in this RV, are they're going to have a max to three to five days, right. um, and it might be two weeks, mm -hmm. but this coach is equipped to accommodate you in right. that time, and if you put a washer and dryer in there, might make sense, mm -hmm. but all these nice parks have yeah, facilities. Yeah, they have the laundromats And in it's there. not like the corner, um, right. you know, washing place, yeah. but um, it's good stuff to know that you can go out in this RV yeah. and keep going. Um, if you get to the campground, we're going to show you later how quick you can break yeah. this RV down and be on the road 10, 15 minutes. And that's one of the other things, too, that uh, a lot of folks want to see is what does it look like with the slides? And we are going to show you that as well. The other big uh, question we get, bathroom. People always want to see the bathroom. And I think from here, if, you know, and the thing is, after this video is posted, again, this is 360, and this is our... our First time doing this First with the 360. So honestly, let us know what you think. I and mean, just you, you want us to do a lot more like these because it's really kind of innovative how you can. And one thing, if you kind of pan down, you're going to see something that looks really funky. That's actually the the bottom of the camera. That's the tripod. So it, it's kind of like a weird 
you know, it looks like a little triangle down there. But let's talk about uh, the features that people are going to find in the bathroom here. Well, I think the main thing to point out that in our design and all our coaches, I look at them daily. Mm -hmm. um, with the slide out, in or out, mm -hmm. everything's functional. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I go through that with customers at shows and tell them, hey, look, you might not be able to access your four bottom drawers, mm -hmm. but, you know, the refrigerators, the bunks, everything you need. And, of course, you let your slide out and grab that, but right. our design team doesn't design stuff that where it's not functional. Mm -hmm. um, so this coach is, is what I like to say, function at 70 right. or sitting still. Right. And, again, I'm an old motorhome guy, so... That's where, for me, the fun is, is, is the getting there, mm -hmm. um, because that's also the hardest part. But when you put the motorhome in action, that's what makes it fun, is getting there in this. And that's what I like about our products is, I, you know, maybe other than a small cabinet door mm -hmm. or something like that, everything is fully functional, with slide in or out. Mm -hmm. And then also, it doesn't make it look like a cave. Right. You know, we're going to have good space, good walking room. Uh, for people to get up and move about and then come sit back down in our products, whether it be in motion or not. And like this coach here, um, you could pull over at the side. You know, I stayed at Walmart um, yeah. for the we, first we, time. We stayed at a Love's or whatever, yeah. But I, I've heard about that for years, yeah. and, and that wasn't available back when I was RVing more right. than I am now. Right. And, and we pulled up, and, you know, some people say, well, I don't want to let the slide out. Well, this coach here, you don't have to right. let the slide out to be functional. I mean, just make sure if you have something in a drawer or something back there in front of mm -hmm. the bed, that's it. And that's what I like about this coach because if you've got the kids and everybody's sleeping, you know, a trip to Disney World, even from here, you know, you can drive all day, maybe lay up one night right. and, and drive in the morning and you're there and everybody's in a good yeah. mood. Um, that's what I'm trying to point out today is why to buy a class A or a class C and be in motion during the toughest time of your trip. It, it's all about getting there and keeping everybody satisfied. Well, and it's all about, I guess, you know, form and function, like you were saying. I mean, you know, we, we've done stuff from, let's talk about, you know, how we've designed this with uh, the residential vinyl flooring. I mean, because this has been sitting out here in sub-zero weather. This isn't going to crack. It's mm -hmm. one piece. So let's talk about how we put this in and what, differentiates this from what else is out there because um, this is going to hold up for you for the life of your motorhome. Well, I started, you know, looking back in the day and, and you always had carpet mm -hmm. to hide the, the dog house uh, mm -hmm. and most RVs. That's why you, you know, you saw less and less carpet going yeah. into RVs. And now, uh, most of our products, we've been running a fiberglass dog house, a house above three years. Some will vary. But that allowed us to eliminate carpet. So the carpet is really going to be up on a wall uh, on a lip of a slide out so it'll hold up with a bin. Um, but with this coach here, you know, we've got a broom closet. Right. You know, that's the story behind yep. the Ace is um, it has the stuff you need. It has a place for your dog to be tied down. Yep. It has a trash can, blah, blah, blah. But the main thing is this Leno is going to be laid uh, before anything mm -hmm. else goes down. So there's no trim molding, nothing like that, and it's finished underneath your couch. So when you want to clean this thing up, wait till you get home. Yeah. You know, you're not going to be worried about somebody getting mud on your carpet or right. mud up here around your, your driver's yeah. seat from going in and out of the snow up here or getting grass because it's all going to be um, this material throughout. Um, and again, like you mentioned, the main thing is temperature. Right. not going to vary from one mm -hmm. cold to a hot day uh, and so on. Uh, question coming in from Ryan. I uh, love the Thor Ace products. Can you fold the bunks up when not in use? Sometimes the kids go with us, sometimes they don't. So if they are not with us, it would be nice to utilize the space. Those are fixed bunks, correct? Yep. No, we do the fixed and the Ace product, and that's a great question. We don't in the Hurricane and mm -hmm. Windsport. Um, and it, it'll fold down for you, and then you'll have the closet rod up there. But um, in this floor plan, we're going to keep it. That's a much bigger coach, so you have room to hide stuff. Right. You know, you're looking at a 35 yeah. and a half total foot coach where we're trying to condense it uh, in a 31 foot mm -hmm. application. So there's there's different things you can do. But the main thing I like to point out is is you could sleep two adults in there. Mm -hmm. And yes, we could put a drop down on that, but we want to try to keep it at a price point. Right. You know, there's always stuff you can add to an RV and that's great. It's, it's like we've talked about with furniture. Uh, we could put a, a lot bigger, fluffier, more expensive couch in right. here and take out construction out of the sidewall. Right. Uh, but you have to be price point um, conscious mm -hmm. in this market to provide a, a new motorhome in that in that market. So that would be the answer is 
The only reason it doesn't flip up and down is, is due to um, putting more money into a unit that you might not need to. And you can always find the cost of all of our ACE floor plans at floormotorcoach.com. You can, you can build your own. You can also take in, in the little search engine, there is just a little, put in your zip code and then it will take you to your nearest dealer. So you can go on the lot, you can kind of look around. And, and, and when we repost this a little bit later on today, we're gonna to post this over to YouTube. And then when it uh, kind of recycles, when we're done with this leg, you can actually take and you can zoom in on a lot of these features. And a lot of people are gonna zoom in on, uh, on the cabinets because they love to look around and, and we love to see you kind of look around and explore the product on your own. But let's, let's talk about the- Let's do that, how you can determine um, what color our product comes in. Let's do it. Um, we do a lot of different things out there, but mostly you're gonna have a light and dark wood. Mm -hmm. uh, in our units with 19 and a half inch rubber, mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna have two wood looks and three interior looks okay. mostly. Uh, when you get into like a Miramar Challenger and Outlaw, they're mm -hmm. going to have three wood looks. They're going to be light, medium, or dark. Um, and then the only other thing that you can really do in RVs, you can't change the flooring, mm -hmm. you can't change the countertop, but you can change this to light or the valance to another color. Yeah. There's two other options on that. And so we try to, I mean, the, the gal that's been doing this has been doing a great job for us, and she knows what yeah. works. You know, again, we make everything standard. Mm -hmm. I talked to a customer at a show and they were concerned, was it the right RV for it? Right. And I showed them the, the standard um, rain cover vent. Right. Um, we're putting that standard on all our products, so we know what we're doing. We're trying to offer the most we can mm -hmm. for the customer. But the valance color, wood color, um, would be the only, the flooring is going to run true in all our products along with the countertops. So keep that in mind if you're looking at an RV, mm -hmm. um, not thinking that you can change a lot of stuff because we make it standard. Um, like that to keep right. it unconfusing because right now I mean Steve you walk out into a show and it not have a rear ladder yeah. and I bring some of this stuff up and and what a slap in the face to buy something mm -hmm. and not realize that you're not getting what you should have right and I guess you know that goes to you know you look at okay standard equipment when it comes to because you, you love to upgrade you know at some point you're going to want to upgrade you're going to want something you know maybe a little bigger or maybe it has different features but Having the standard equipment is going to go a lot longer when you go to trade that in. Oh yeah. So let's talk a little bit about well, that. Well, in in the in the in the book value right. is where it's at. You yeah. know, NADA value book is is, is kind of like a mm -hmm. car book, but um, they don't add for options. I, you know, I was in retail all my life, um, and and never did we add for optional equipment because it's in the back of a right. book. So everything is based off a standard. Mm -hmm. And that's why our team at Thor looks at, hey, look, you know, everybody wants a ladder on their roof. Right. You know, everybody who's gonna want an outdoor TV, everybody's gonna want um, whatever that is and standardize that so the customer doesn't lose that value mm -hmm. off initial purchase. And let's talk a little bit about the way we build our roofs and our sidewalls. Cause I mean, you know, you want something that is solidly constructed and this ACE 30.2 certainly has that. Well, the thing I like that we do, we're not gonna change that from one coach right. to the other. Um, everything that we're building right now is pretty much streamlined. You know, mm -hmm. all the um, EGS still strapping in the sidewalls to mount screws to, to for cabinets. Um, all exterior openers framed out in aluminum. Mm -hmm. uh, that would include for the fantastic van air conditioner, uh, all 15 inch on center aluminum studs and all our product. And, and, and there's a lot of coaches out there that do that in a price point of let's say 130 grand and up, just a, a ballpark. Sure. But not everybody wants to spend that much money. You know, maybe somebody's wanting to get into this and, and do it a couple of years and then lose minimal money and get out of it. Right. Or they don't want to, to invest, they want to save some money to go have fun. So if you're building something correct, why would you change the way you're building it? Right. And that's what I like about our company is that stuff is running consistent down the, the line except for if you go to tile floor and a diesel pusher, sure. or if you go to a bigger chassis and a longer coach, right. so on. You know, and I think one of the neat things too, uh, the way we do it with the sidewalls, it's really, if you ever get a chance to, to take a factory tour, it's really neat to see this from start to finish. Uh, and, and you can go on our website and check out all the information on how to take a factory tour. The way we build, because this is a, a full wall slide on this 30.2 from, from right behind Mark. You know, that's, that's a, I, I get and, excited. And, 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 do, and if you take your phone, you kind of spin all the way back or your tablet and spin all the way back to, to the far corner back there. 
this is all one giant slide. And, and the way that we build these walls is, is really unique. And it's, I mean, it's the way we cut it out. It's the same piece that goes back in. We're, it, we just right. don't have a stockpile where we just kind of force it to fit. It comes right out of the same unit. Well, we do do the five inch header yeah. too, you know. So this slide out has nothing to do with structural integrity. But the main thing I want to talk about right now right. is we've been doing full wall slides on Homeway to it over seven years. Mm -hmm. Um, you've got manufacturers that didn't believe in that uh, as we started a long time ago and now they're building those full wall slides. So keep that in mind when you're looking at our product. A full wall slide allows you to buy a shorter coach wide all the way down through the floor plan. So if you're looking at a 36 footer mm -hmm. and you can't get that and you don't want to buy that long a coach, drop back into a 29 3 eighths. Um, that coach is going to be wide throughout the whole coach. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be narrow in the center because a, a, a double slide coach sometime in a shorter mm -hmm. application, yes, the bedroom is going to have a slide. And yes, the living right. room has a slide, but it's not wide all the way down. So um, I've, been a part, I've been able to be a part of the full wall slide for a long time. And, and the main thing is the header, yeah. you know, and that's what it brings us back to talking about aluminum framing. If you build something, you don't route it out as you go and use windows and mm -hmm. slide outs and stuff for framing. Um, your house, you know, if, if I built you a house and didn't frame out the windows and doors, right. I mean, that would be a problem. Yeah. Right, you know, I'll just cut them out right. wherever you want, Steve. Right. You'd be like, no, I need no. a header. Yep. I need studs, I yep. need so on. And, and that's what we do in our products. We do that in a, in a, a, a 22 foot application to a 45 foot. I uh, had a question from Ryan here. It says, is the uh, ACE ready for winter travel? Is the underbody enclosed, the tanks heated, et cetera? You can certainly take this out in the winter. Yes, some of our floor plans offer water system heat. Right. Uh, and some offer tank heaters. Um, the thing I always mention to customers is know your RV. Um, there are several things you can do to change that. Like in a 27-2 ACE, that'll blow heat off the furnace into the water system area. Now, with a full wall slide, you can't run your furnace off of your, um, through your floor down to your water system due to the slide out. So this product would have tank heaters. In my mind, that's the way I like to keep it. Right. But you can go to um, our webpage and mm -hmm. see those floor plans that offer winter uh, water system heat. Right. I've got a guy in a 27.1 Ace mm -hmm. uh, that we built uh, maybe three or four years ago and he still goes moose hunting in his Ace. He takes his extra propane bottle because yeah. you'd have to continuously run your furnace sure. to maintain temperature. Mm -hmm. um, but look at our models that we offer. All our 22 and a half inch rubber are gonna be water system heat, where when you drop in down to a 19 and a half inch rim into our um, class A's, some will vary. So a full wall slide would be tank heaters, okay? But say a double slide, most of those would be water system heat. Difference, pad on the right. tank with a coal, and water system heat would have a hole through the floor mm -hmm. inside that blows heat mm -hmm. down into where that now. You want to monitor that. You know, you can't just uh, put water in these things and, and leave them alone. You can't just throw them out in the backyard for four or five months right. and not look at them. So do your research, but we've got all kind of videos out there. But yes, to answer the question, depending on temperature, uh, you would be able to do that. But the main thing is to not to know what you're doing. You know. Right. know what you've got you know they've got some things out now where you could have put a monitor in that area where the water system right. is you know reach out to us find the schematic for yeah. your coach and know where those water lines are and those tanks are and then monitor it. that's the way you have to own an rv yeah. and that's one of the things too when you're out at the show is, is the shows are in full force we got uh, some great comments real quick uh julia says gorgeous i I don't, I don't think she's talking about us. Dude. No, I don't think she's I don't looking think she's at the, about us, the, the bunk and, and my wife was watching. Hi. Um, she, uh, she, we, she loved the Ace. I mean, she, lo she loves the Ace. Uh, loves well, the, maybe uh, you should on take here. one instead of a Vegas this year. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> we'll, we'll, whatever, whatever the company wants to throw my way, we would be more than, more than uh, happy to go. Um, but I guess it's one of the things when, when, when you are out at the shows and you see, you know, you see the Thor Motor Coach badge, we have our factory reps out there, uh, such as Mark and, and our whole team of guys from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the Wherever. North down to the South, they're everywhere, they're there. So if you have really specific questions, 
these are the guys that you, you, you want to talk to because they're out here in the plants. I mean, how often, I mean, you're out walking. Uh, I try to stay out. The you know, that's the plant where, where, where these are made. Yeah, Ace, Wind Sport, yeah. Hurricane. But I think the main thing is, is plant tours Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we look at shows and, and the way we gauge on how we go to shows is we look at how many units are there. So right. if you want to call a, a, a show and say, hey, I was wondering what Thors are in there. And you right. see that there's three aces or there's a lot of Thor motor coach in there. I mean, we were just up in Novi and, and, and we had, let's see, four reps, five, six reps there. And, and we're there to answer questions directly and honestly. Right. You know, and my, my biggest thing is to listen to somebody, you know, and if, if you're telling me what you want to do doesn't match the application, I'm going to try to help steer you to the right, right. thing due to experience. That's right. why Thor puts us out there right. is we're not just going to, we're not out there just to tell you whatever you want right. to hear. We're, we're there to go through our product and try to help you make mm -hmm. a great decision. That's it. Mm -hmm. And that's why we go out. That's why my company spends the money for us to be reachable. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've had an issue with your coach, whatever, if you've got um, a dealer you'd rather find another one, whatever it might be, but come up, don't be scared to talk right. to us because we want to be there for you. Right, you know, and that's one of the things too, to, to remember, you know, because people will say, oh, well, you know, maybe my cabin is still loose. You got to remember these these are these are hand built. This is a piece of hand built machinery. I mean that. Uh, takes, well, it's about uh, maintenance. Exactly, you know? and if you, you can't just like you said park it for four months in the back. I mean there are certain things you got to do. You gotta climb on the roof. You got to check your seals. I mean there's there's a number of things you have to do. So it's 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 like anything else that you own. You have to maintain it to keep it running. 110 percent. Well, and it's and I get that question. What's the cost of ownership right. if I buy this coach? Yep. Um, you know, you'll have insurance, you'll yeah. have fuel. Fuel economy is hard for me because how can you put a value right. on not stopping at a rest stop, a restroom, whatever? You know, I quote nine miles per gallon on most of our gla uh, gas V10s. You'll vary uh, in how you operate the coach or whether you're towing or whether you're whatever the scenario is. But the main thing is just to look at what we offer mm -hmm. and, and, and ask questions about it. But when you, when you buy an RV, um, the more little maintenance you do, the less down the road yeah. you have. And, and I stress that if, you know, if you, instead of buying a, a $500 cover that you had to get up on the top and spread it over, right. look at maybe doing a pole barn. Yeah. Um, look at maybe doing interior storage because it will come back because in two, three years, when you have a coach that's been maintained, uh, it will bring more value in the market. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, checking your call, but using it. Um, take it out to the mall, take it to the grocery store. But the most, the biggest thing I ever hear is Mark, we, we bought one of your products. We loved it and we had a great year, but man, we got that thing out in April and it had this and it had uh, that. And I said, well, what'd you do? Yeah. And they said, oh, well, we put it up in October. Yeah. We hadn't looked at it. Yeah. And, and again, you, you can't, you if you put it inside somewhere, maybe you can get away with that. Yeah. I, not for me. Right. Um, I'm going to at least go out there and start it. Um, you don't have to put water in the tanks. Um, check everything. Walk in the coach. You know, make sure it's right. And little things like that will mm -hmm. make your ownership happier. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it does. So uh, Ken is watching now. So a lot of folks watching. Remember, this is something, this is the first time we've done this with uh, our 360 VR gear. So if you are watching, uh, remember, you can kind of kind of take a look around, up, down, left, right, and kind of look wherever you want to look around. So uh, I think what we're going to do, you ready to get this thing on the road? I'm whatever you want to do. That's All what right. we're here. I mean, is there anybody, whatever we can is do. There anything else you want to talk about here? I think we're good. I think we'll hit some other yeah. points going down sure. the road and, and go through that. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, so so hang with us, okay? We're going to button this unit up. We're going to uh, tear down all the decorations. You know how long I spent decorating Well, I want to show two that we're not going to show. But when we get there, we're going to show you how to open it up and right. then close it. And, 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 and just how much room you do have, livable how space you have when you're actually on the road. Now, we're not going to do that in 360. We're going to go back to our regular gear. So that will be on YouTube, Facebook, and on our Periscope. This we're going to take the 360 and post that to our other channels a little bit later. But comment below. Let us know, did you, did you like the way that this 360, because the only way we're going to know if you want us to do a lot more of this, and I would love to do this all the time, let us know what you like about this. Does this work for you, uh, or do you, do you prefer the more more traditional? Granted, uh, we're still going to do a lot of the 360 photos and stuff because it's a really neat perspective. But go ahead, comment below. We're going to uh, shut this down, 
Keep it right here because we're going to come back live on